welcome to Celebrity Medium, Tony Green. You know, I I would be more surprised if I didn't um, flub the intro. That's all I'm going to say at this point. Okay, let's get started with the show. It's just an intro. It doesn't really matter. So um, for those of you who are new and those of you returning, thank you so much for being here with me today. I am so grateful for you. I'm going to uh, give the quick PSAs that I always give at the beginning of the show. I will be taking callers live through the whole hour. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you would like to call in, please do so. I am happy to answer one question or connect you to a loved one on the other side. The reason I say one or a is because there are a lot of people waiting online to have a connection. Please have an exact or direct question ready and or available or an exact loved one. Many times people say, just give me any message from spirit. And inevitably, that is not the message you want to hear. It is the message you need to hear. And it takes me a little bit longer to get that message. Well, mostly because, you know, I don't always love telling people what they need to hear publicly. That's more of a private thing. <laughs> it certainly is. I'm also taking um, questions live on YouTube. So, if you are watching me live on YouTube, you can uh, put your question into the chat and I will go between the call log and the um, and the chat answering questions and connecting people with loved ones. At the beginning of every show, I, I say um, I do two things, names and songs. The names are loved, the name can be your name, a loved one's name, or the name of somebody you have in common, like uh, your brother or child, whatever it is. I'm going to start with names since we went there already. Oh, th just really quick, one last thing. I will never reach out to anybody and ask them or tell them they need a reading or anything like that or none of that. Please don't get scammed. And I only have one website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Please don't be redirected to a different website. Um, yes, that's it. And yes, I do private sessions. I'm pretty available. I can typically get people in the same week. Yeah, I can always get people in the same week as long as it's the beginning of the week. Because this is all I do all day long. This is it. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with names of loved ones on the other side. And as somebody said, you know, I get asked often why I do what I do on my show. Well, first of all, I'm listening to them above. And second, it, there are, even though you guys are joining me live, this show airs on WSCS, all of their streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV, all of their streaming channels. Um, it is on a number of podcasts from WSCS and Rude Rangers radio stations and all of the podcasts that I put it on. So I think it's on almost every podcast. It's also on radio stations and um, television shows and streaming shows. So anybody who can't watch it live, they will get something from it also, even though they can't call in. If you are watching live and you wanna post a question, please post it in that chat. If you're listening live, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And go ahead and uh, put that in. Okay, the names are Doug. The first name coming through is Doug, D-O-U-G. And I know this is not the song, but uh, it, it, these are not the words, but Doug right away goes into Dougie, 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 you're so whatever. Uh, the, something just hypnotized me. So I normally don't mix a name with a song, but as soon as I said Doug, that's what came through. I don't even think, I'm pretty positive that's not even the right way. The next name I'm hearing is Felicia. The next name I'm hearing is Sha 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 Chantel and Shaquila. 
Okay. The next name I'm hearing is Paul. The next name I'm hearing is... Uh, the next name I'm hearing is uh, Luann or Lu Luann and then Luinda. Luann and then another name of Luinda. Um, then I'm hearing Jeffrey and then I'm hearing Joel or Joella. Okay, that's what I'm going to do for names. Now songs. This can be a song your loved one loved, a song you loved, a song you listened to together, or it could be the answer of a question that you've been having. Songs, angels always work with music. Spirit always works with music to answer our questions, to comfort us, and mostly though to raise our vibration, to bring us into a higher place. So the first thing I'm hearing, and I cannot sing it clearly, is Bach and then Beethoven. So there's somebody either listening or on the other side that really loved Bach and Beethoven. And I hear classical, classical or the classic, classic or classical. Bach, Bach and Beethoven. Um, the next thing that I'm hearing um, as far as music goes is... Uh, I, I think if these words are not right, in the middle of the night, I, and that's all, that's the only verse I'm hearing from that song, so I do apologize. The next thing that I'm hearing is the song, let's go, oh, this is for Heather, let's go all the way, Rosanna, yeah, but it could be for other people out there too. <laughs> they wanted to make sure they they did get that song in again. Um, the next song that I'm hearing, and I'm only going to do two more songs. Oh, I came in like a wrecking ball. I don't need to sing that. I think everybody, uh, knows, or if you don't know that song, it's by Miley. You can look it up. Um, and then, um, Jack and Diane, that song, Jack and Diane by that guy, that one guy who sang the song. Who <laughs> sang that, that song, Jack and Diane, by that guy? And then they're showing me Rod Stewart, and they're doing that song, Maggie, wake up, Maggie, I think I got something to say to you. Okay, that song. Um, and then um, the Beatles... And, well, I thought I was done with songs, but apparently they are not. The Beatles and Woman, please let me explain. <laughs> nope, you had all your chances to talk and you zipped it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure my commentary is not appreciated as much as I would like it to be. Okay. No, that song, Woman, I think that's by the Beatles or John Lennon. Um, is there anything else before I I go, folks? Any One last one. I'll let you get Purple Grain by Prince. Boom. Perfect song to, um, to be done on. That is awesome. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Mys Mystic Raven. Heather, we have so many people in the chat, you guys. Um, it is amazing. I love each and every one of you. Everybody who calls in um, and everybody who's in the chat. Thank you. Yeah, th that could be it. Um, Patrick said, uh, John Cougar, Jack and Diane. And I think In the Middle of the Night is by Billy Joel. Probably. I'm not good at that. Thank you so much, Patrick. Um, so we are going to get going now. I'm going to go between callers and questions. If you do have a question, put it in um, the chat. Mystic Raven, I know you didn't ask this, but when I look at your name, the statement I hear is it's coming soon. Whatever that means for you, whatever you've been wondering about, whatever you've been thinking about. Okay. Um, Thank you guys so much for that. Thank you. I want to let everybody in, in it, wherever you are, if you 
we are going into the holiday season. So I know, I think Canada just celebrated their Thanksgiving. We're about to celebrate our happy holidays to everybody. Happy holidays. I'm going to take 216. Oh, I think I am. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is Desmond calling from Cleveland, Ohio. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, I started a new job today, and um, I want to know how do you see um, how that how's that gonna go? Not just for the day, but for the future. <clears throat> okay, so your name is Devin, right? Desmond. Desmond, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. Thank you for yeah. correcting me. I just, if I say your name, I want to say it correctly, and I want to make sure that I'm I, I'm tapped into the right energy. But I just, I I'm very. I always want to say everybody's name correctly. So Desmond, the first thing that I'm hearing is the job is going to go good. Now, I'm going to give you, give you some advice, but I'm also going to give you some, um, some, the first thing I'm hearing, and this is coming from an elder that is on the other side. There are two women here from the other side that are wanting to guide you in this new job and give you a few pointers. Um, the first thing is um, just because somebody corrects you, it doesn't mean they're um, criticizing you, okay? And I know exactly what they mean by that. Sometimes when we're on a job and somebody says something, we take it as a criticism and we take it as they think we're not doing a good job, but they're saying that's not the case at all. If somebody makes, if somebody in charge makes a correction, take it as a compliment because they care enough to make sure you're going to do the job right and you're gonna be there. And it's not even necessarily that you would be doing it wrong, but that they want it to be efficient. So please don't take it in any other way than it is a peer um, helping you to be at this place longer. And I don't know if you guys are seeing this light fluctuation. Jesus, that is crazy. They are letting us know they are here every time I come on. The next thing they want to say is you're going to do really good at this job. Don't listen to the naysayers at the job. Just go in and work like your boss does. Well, unless your boss is lazy, then don't work like your boss. <laughs> Did you guys see that flag? <laughs> okay. They're saying, um, also, there's going to be the opportunity, if not two opportunities, for you to do something on the side. And make sure anything you do on the side is legit and in, in a way that's going to build you into something more, bring you in more. Um, I do feel like one of the opportunities on the side is going to be something extremely prosperous. And when they say legit, let me be, let me be clear here. I think what they mean, it's not somebody trying to scam you out of money with a pipe dream. Okay. But also legit, like don't end up in the pokey. I, I, I don't think you would, but um, whatever's, there's two opportunities coming in, do your research on both of them. The one thing I do when somebody comes to me and they say, Hey, I'm doing this. I always read the reviews for it because if people have been ripped off by it, it's going to be in the reviews and more than one person is going to have it in the reviews. I do think one of the things you're going to have the opportunity to do on the side is something that is on your own, like almost starting your own business, a smaller business, something that is going to take you very far. Now, I'm going to say this, whatever it is, it's going to start small and it's going to grow. It's not going to start as something really super big. And I am seeing the craziest vision on this um, Desmond, it's almost like, and I'm just being seeing, seeing some product. It's probably not the product, but if it is, kudos to your ancestors. It's almost like you're selling cigars and cigarettes or something like that 
Um, but you know those little ice cream carts that they push? You're like selling cigars and cigarettes. I don't know. I I don't know. I, the vision <laughs> I'm seeing is somewhat crazy. But what I'm going to say is whatever that is for you, if you get that opportunity, and I'm not saying it's that exact opportunity, it's something you may have been thinking about for a while. Like, you know, this would be a really good business if if somebody did that. Just go and start it really small is what they're saying and let it build into something bigger. Okay. Um, I do feel like those are your messages. The job is going to go well. Just don't take anything anybody says personally. Um, get through the tough days and you're going to do well. And then when or if that business idea comes, jump on it and and do it on the side until it makes more cons it makes more, more consistently than your day job. Okay. Whew. Okay. That's what I have for you. Oh, okay. I, I hope this was helpful. All right. Yes, it was. It was. I just got to figure out what it is. So. Yeah, it's going to come to you. Believe me, when they say there's a side thing coming in, that means it's on their way and it's on its way and they're letting you know to take it. And again, I feel like if this is something somebody else is saying to you, maybe don't make sure you check it out before you invest in it. I think the idea that's coming in for you on the side is something that's going to kind of be yours. Okay. 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 Desmond, thank you so much for calling in today. Um, Feel free to call in anytime. And I look forward to talking with you again. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You are absolutely welcome. You are absolutely welcome. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any questions yet. On, um, I don't think there are any questions in the chat. I think I could... Um, I think I could have missed some. So if you did put a, a question in, please repost it. I'm going to go to the next caller who is uh, 415. And I'm kind of going all over with callers today. So please be patient. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Teresa and I'm calling from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you so much for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. How can I help you today, Teresa? So I'm not sure if you can tune into my spirit guide or my mother. I can tune into both. Which one? Uh, did you have a question, or did you just want to uh, hear something from your mom? No, I. Uh, no, I do have a question. What's the question? A couple of days ago, there was a there was a snake under my foot, and for three nights, I've been dreaming about the numbers one and nine. I feel like I'm getting messages of completion and new beginnings and stuff, and I would like some clarity around it. Okay. The snake under your foot is to watch out. Oh. It was right behind me. Yes, oh. It wasn't under my foot. But well, right the snake is there's a snake in your midst. Be careful about that. Oh, gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I can't. Snakes are one thing that creep me out. I don't even care if they're little grass snakes. They just clearly creep me out. Um, a snake is most of the time a symbol of be aware of the people around you. It can be anything from backstabbing or back talking to, um, to also um, somebody who is just very snakish being around you and i just wanna i heard this statement and it it's the best it's one of the best statements i've heard you know and it's about people who can have those snake like behaviors and it was a snake will shed its skin people will say oh but a snake can shed its skin yes that's just so it can grow into a bigger body it's not because it's changing a snake is always a snake um so be careful of that i'm not saying that's it for sure um but i would say uh, really assess who's around you and i think you may already know um 
you may have a feeling or an idea of who this person may be. Now, going beyond that, the dream of the one in the nine. Multiple nine. Yeah, I would say, listen, I'm I'm really not good with dream analogy and I'm not good with num numerology. I would say look up angel numbers of nines. And I did. One is beginnings and nine is completion. Okay, then then you already know what that is. And I, I just can't... wondered what it was about, what was changing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Um, I would say that whatever that is, Teresa, that one and that nine with the snake, it may be you're coming to the conclusion of people taking advantage of you or backstabbing you, or it may be that you are, uh, you have gone through a full cycle and when you start, you're about to start a new cycle. And when you start this new cycle, please make sure that you're not taking anybody who is snake like with you, or you will end up repeating the same cycle again. That is what I would say in my, that's what I'm getting. The one thing I am going to say that your mom is saying to you and that is uh, your mom's spirit guide, whomever it is, is to watch out for people that don't watch out for you. So the bigger emphasis is on people who are not honorable or having character with you. And it's okay to let that complete. Whatever that is for you, that's what they're saying. And I hope that makes sense for you. And I hope that helps you. And I hope that that gives you some vision moving forward um and they're saying you already know who that person is so please take heed is what i'm also hearing take heed sometimes the snake is the person who we feel is the person that's closest to us but there's there's something we are not wanting to see that and that can also be a very big challenge okay Okay, I'm going to go to questions in the chat. If you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. I'm here every single Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. I'm thinking of doing a new moon manifestation show this evening. If you guys would join me for that, let me know. Put a time in the in the box and I'll be happy to do that. If you do call in, please press the one and um, and so that I can see your hand is up and that you are, um, I can take your call. Okay, Mystic Raven on YouTube wants to know, do you see me applying for a work position that is uh, parallel to this one that I have. It's a different agency, but I can keep my same job. I will make more money. And yeah, I think you should definitely apply for this. I do feel like you'll get it maybe not immediately, but especially as we go into or in between or closer into the holiday season, it's going to be uh, coming coming for you. You'll, I see you getting it then. I do think you should do that. I believe that would be an amazing, uh, th uh, thing for you. It would be very strong for you. Okay. It, even if it's only temporary, whatever comes in will be good for you. Okay. I'm going to go to the very next, next caller. And the next caller is 814. 814. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hey. My name is Amy and I'm calling from Pennsylvania and I was calling to see if you see anything with my son, Tristan, about him getting any aid for college, like any scholarships. Okay. So as soon as you said that, Amy, I heard one 
And I feel like it might be one significant one, but then he may get smaller ones, but there will be one significant one. The other thing that I'm hearing with this is there will be help coming in. It might not be the help that you are um, kind of like wishing or hoping for, but it will be help, whether it's loans or whatever it is, there will be assistance on another end. It's just not it's not the, 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 maybe like the scholarships. Um, I do feel like you should, and I, for scholarships and for anybody in business, I always say, if you can find someone that can help find scholarships for you, it's so worth it because there are so many scholarships out there that people are not aware of. Yes. The schools will send you to certain places to look for them, but there are a lot more, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, excuse me. There are a lot more scholarships out there <clears throat> that are available that you would not even be aware of that you could, um, that you could partake in. So I would find all the resources and or a person or people who can help find scholarships uh, so that more of them can come in for him, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You are so very, very welcome. You are so welcome. There's, um, uh, on that, I'm going to take another caller, so everybody please hold on. I'm going to just say this, though. Um, there is a, you know, I know a lot of people... Are, one of the things I would recommend, and as we're going into this new year, and I know I've said this a couple of times, I'm going to say it again. I, This is the time to start a business. If you've had a business idea, if you've had something you've thought of doing on the side, that's your own. If you've had anything that you felt like you know what? I, I wonder how this, this is the time to start it and get it up and going, have it up and going as close to the new year as possible. The message I keep getting is that by the new year or in the new year, there's going to be a lot of resources or a lot of rebirth. Things are going to start to turn around in January and head in another direction, which is really good for us. Let's fingers crossed, right? Um, which would make sense because we're going into an election year, so they have to make it look good. Math 101. Um, what I am, uh, but let's hope there's, let's just hope our powers that be are smart enough for that. <laughs> let's hope they realize that. Um, but, but on a bigger note, on a different note, any any business at all that you have been thinking about, scale it. Start it small and build it up. Uh, manufacturing businesses, uh, companies that build things, make things, that's going to be so, if you have it set like the plan and you start it and you have it up and running by the new year, it's going to do very well. Now, you don't need hundreds of people, even if it's manufacturing, it can be a very small manufacturing company. It doesn't need to be big. It can grow with need. Um, another thing I'm getting is a lot of transportation, a lot of positions in transportation. That doesn't mean just driving truck. That doesn't mean um, like uh, delivery. That means maybe starting your own type of transportation business. If you've ever thought, you know what, this would be a really, there's a need for this. Now may be the time to start it. If you can't start it on your own, pull in partners. Um, the, one of the biggest needs we're going to have in 24 into 25 is for electricians, plumbers, and <sighs> electricians, plumbers, and like those people who do foundation work, um, like floor, well, yes, flooring, but like the cement, the foundation, cement, concrete workers, concrete workers. 
And those don't take big degrees that take 10 years, uh, 50 years to pay back. Those you can either, some companies will give you an apprenticeship with uh, electrician, plumber, and you can learn as you go and then eventually start your own business with that. Those are, there's going to be such a huge, there is a need now, but the through 24 and into 25, and even they're showing me 26 is going to be such a need for that. Roofers, anybody who's doing roofing, that's going to be a huge need in 24 and 25. And then um, another thing that's going to do very, very well are carts, C-A-R-T-S, carts and vehicles with food and beverages. Now, let me go a little, anybody who does any sort of food delivery, any anybody, and you can cook out of your home for friends and family and deliver it. Um, anybody, but it could also be like a food truck, a food cart, a beverage and or whatever cart. And don't just let it be that. I mean, you can set up a little cart with crystals and be walking around. I hear on the go businesses like on the go massage, massage, like the people who get pampered are going to really want to be pampered, especially end of 24 into 25. And these people are going to want in-house service or in-business service. So if you do hair, if you do nails, if you do whatever it is you do, make sure you find out how to get that license for your high-end clients to be able to go into their home and do these services or corporate corporations to do these services, um, whatever that means, whatever that means for for your business or however that means for your business. Catering is another one that's going to be very big. If you start small and grow and work with event planning companies, if you can cater, that's gonna be another business that's really needed in 24. And again, I'm seeing June, especially from June on in 24 into 27, catering is going to be huge. If you can cater things, do it. And I'm hearing specialty catering, whatever that means for you, whether that means a specialty as far as the type of food. So let's say you're Greek and you cook Greek food. Don't think you have to do American catering or, you know, you can do Greek food catering. You can do uh, Latin or Spanish food catering. You can do, you know, Italian food catering. It's good. It's just, it's going to be very big. And you can even just do desserts and catering with desserts. You could be the dessert part of the catering crew. And that's going to be very huge for you. Um, what other businesses? Give me two more businesses that anyone can pop up with. Well, not anyone. Um, there are a number of people that are in the audience and or listening that have abilities and skills that could, okay, thank you, that could start their own thing. It doesn't have to be a full-on business. And I'm going to bring this on up again. I brought it up before. Yes, Margarita Card. Sal, that is just where I was going with this. Oh, my gosh. So there are a number of businesses and a number of people that could just do like, there's this thing, it's called bubbly, but you can legitimately so easily make your own portable bar. You don't have to get theirs and, and, go, and work with again, event planners or put out your own thing to be the bar at their party. Um, and, and just, have margarita machines or you can do the full bar if you know how and make sure you're licensed um but yes and if it's at a private party make sure if you need licensing but that is what i'm hearing for some of the businesses that have the ability to come in and let, let me say this because i'm seeing it right now now i know where i live we get a winter and it's quite cold but indoor parties happen. But if you know how to grill and or smoke meat, and you can do a huge party 
for um, grilling and smoking meat. Get that out there. Get that out there. These are going to be really big things that are going to be coming in that are going to be really uh, people are going to start to do again. Okay, so please, if you're capable of any of this, please get it out there and start it. Okay, I'm going to go to I can't remember if I'm if I if you'd like to call in the call in number is 845-277-9131. Diana, uh, what I Carla asked a question first, Carla on YouTube is asking, um, why do I feel ostracized by everyone. Carla, the answer I want to give you is people stink. But I can't give that answer because that's not true. I mean, I'm just going to say we're in a very, very difficult time right now, Carla. This is not even a psychic answer. This, I'm sure people on the chat would agree. People have been very different recently. But I'm going to do a clearing for healthy, loving relationships. So here we go. We're going to clear that healthy, loving relationships come in and that we have healthy, loving relationships. Carla, there's a lot going on in the world. And I'm just going to say to you that during this time, don't take anything personally. It's very <laughs> sad. It's a very difficult time for everybody. I think a lot of people who have been doing okay and have not had financial difficulties or a lot of people who have, you know, always had had everything okay, things are very different now. So let's all just be kind and loving to each other. And if somebody is making you feel ostracized, just move on. Um, for now, don't completely cut them off. Just move on. And then if it comes back together, great. But right now, don't take it personally, okay? I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 780. 780, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, Jay, how are you today? Pretty good join your show today so thanks so much for doing it it's been great so far yeah so absolutely yeah. absolutely my pleasure how can i help you today jay hey i do have a question it's regarding uh, uh someone asked this before in the chat room and it's regarding my boss right now it's kind of kind of figure this one out um he's always doing he's always saying tell me to do something and then he does it himself and i'm actually reminded him several times that Hey, if you're going to do that, just, you know, keep me in the team, team aspect of communication. So that's wonder why he does that. He did that a couple of times and he, he didn't um, realize that he said, sorry. So I just wondered why he does that. There's got to be a reason. I think I know what it is. So there's, I don't get your, uh, there's a couple things coming to mind. And the first thing is some people think if they don't do it, it won't get done. And it's easier yeah. for them to do it because you know, somebody else won't do it the way they would do it. They just see it and it needs to be done and they want it done then in that very second. Um, what he wants, you're, it's a very odd dynamic. Your boss is for the most part, a good person. He just is hyper vigilant about making sure everything's done right away. And I hear higher ups and I feel like part of that is him making sure that the higher ups don't see things that are not done. So he would rather just jump in and do them himself if he has the time to do it. If that makes sense to you, Jay, I hope it does. Uh, yes, it does. I, I find that um, I tell him that I'm going to be doing it right after maybe I, I said one time, do it after lunch, and then he just did it himself. So, um, yeah. yeah. It, so, and I couldn't wait. Yeah, I would, I would just, you know, I, I don't even know what to say with a person like that, because sometimes, like, if, if I had employees, I would give them a list of 100 things, and then I would be doing all 100 of them. So that I mean, but, but that's how we are as humans, this needs to be done. Let's just, let's get it done now. 
I feel like when he says something needs to be done, he feels like it's urgent and it needs that immediate attention, even if it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can work with that. Yeah. He apologized on several occasions too. So, but, um, yeah. just, uh, apologies were out. Yeah. So, he, for the but, most part, he's a good guy. He really, um, he's, he's also a little bit, I feel like, believe it or not, he's a little bit of a people pleaser, but most of all, you know, there are people that he answers to and he never wants them to see him in a bad view. So he makes sure everything is always done as soon as it needs to be. So if that makes sense to you, I don't know. I hope it does. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. Well, Jake, yes, it it's always wonderful to hear from you. Thank you so much for calling in. Yeah, I'm grateful for your support and uh, grateful for the messages and uh, we're grateful for this uh, beautiful moment we have right now in this time. Absolutely. Crazy time that we are and just enjoy the moment that we have. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay. You have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Have a blessed day. You Thanks, too. Tony. Thank you, Jay. Okay, we are going to go to next. I have to kind of go back a little bit to find the questions. Uh, Diane, Diana wants to know, hi, Tony. This is Diana from Houston. Lately, I noticed my neck vein left side looks a little swollen when laying down. Also a little numbing sensation on the left. Yeah, go to a doctor. Um, I don't know, honestly, if you should be alarmed. Um, for the sake of YouTube, I have to say go to the doctor. I would also say check out a chiropractor. Um, that's where I would go first, a chiropractor. And then um, I would go to a doctor if that did not get the right results. Um, I feel like that would be the best answer I can give you, Diana. Um, I feel like something might be pinched up up here. So I feel like find out from a chiropractic uh, a chiropractor first and then take the next step after that. Um, so that is what I would say for you. Okay, going to go to the next caller who is, um, I don't think I took this person, but 514. 514, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Genevieve from Montreal, Canada. How are you, Tony? I'm good, Genevieve. How are you? <laughs> How are you? No, so, so, so good. So, so good. So, we're having snow, but we're good. Oh, we're duh. keeping warm in our hearts. I don't want to hear about snow. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. I'm oh, so dreading it. So, Genevieve, what's up? What's your question, love? Okay, well, I believe it would be for the spirits above, the angels, or whomever uh, wants to answer that question. As you know, I'm, I'm exploring right now uh, new territories. I'm venturing into new potentials of my expansion for new possibilities with my new book that I'm writing. And, um, and it's, it's been, they've been answering, they've been sending me answers, which is wonderful when I've been questioning about the, how I'm writing the book and they answered my questions and it's beautiful. I want to keep on this beautiful me shining so brightly and uh, playing big and not playing small. And it's, I don't want, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like it's bigger than me. Like, I don't want to hold back like this. There's no way back. I'm on this journey and it's just like, I'm fully in it and I'm loving it because it's just beautiful and I'm seeing things happening in front of me and I'm like watching this and I'm like, Interesting. It's confirming that I've, you know what, I've got the choice to either stop this or put a slow on this or continue. And I want to continue. I would like to have from you that 
your beautiful angels around you and around me, um, what do to keep on that shine that that light shining brightly on me so that I continue to create more and I can continue to create more abundance, more love, more potential, more possibilities, more fun, more freedom, more more creation, more and everything. Okay. So what I would say, um, thank you for sharing that. What I would say is, and the first thing I'm hearing is focus, focus, focus. Where your focus goes is where your environment grows. So that is what they have for you is to stay focused on what you're working on or what you're wanting. And then you will, it will grow from there. Okay, love? Yes, thank you. You are so, so welcome. And I'm happy that this journey is going um, beautifully for you and that everything is falling into place and it's such a miraculous experience for you. Uh, Just stay focused in the right direction and you will be very happy with it. And thank you. Thank you so much for calling in. I really, um, I love every time that you call in. Aloha, Jay. How are you? Aloha, Jay. I'm going back and trying to look at some of the uh, Pine Lake. Hi, Pine Lake. How are you? Um, An auto repo person. Yes, that's a huge business right now. Aloha, Jay. For sure it is. Hey, Marla, how are you? Um, Gosh, Jesus. Jay. Um... Let's see. <laughs> I'm looking for a question. I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm reading these comments and it is, it's, it's pretty funny. I love it. Um, Mac, McGuire, McGuire Brown. Hi, how are you? Uh, finally caught alive. I'm so happy you're here. Um First name, last name, that's their YouTube name. I'm going to go with their question. Hey, Tony, do you see me speaking on the stage? I just realized today that I'm terrified of doing it, but have been dreaming of doing it for years. Um, I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, so first name, last name. Uh, Our stages have changed considerably since 20, whatever, the last couple of years. Uh, So I would say if you're terrified, start with an online stage and going live online, whether it's Facebook, um, YouTube, Zoom, uh, start going live that way. And then from there, you will be uh, moving into a space where you are able to go live in person and start with smaller groups. Uh, Start with smaller, I hear, um, do go, go go on stage with smaller groups live first and build yourself up. Listen, I've done really, um, I've done a lot of live things and live um, groups. And during one of them, I, it was a huge, it was a bigger group and I was so excited, but I was also so nervous and didn't realize my mic was on and kind of praying and stuff. And anyway, no matter what, we all get nervous before we go live and into a big, huge or small group of the way we'll be received or what we're saying and just start small and go from there and work one-on-one, one-on-two, one-on-four, and then work yourself into bigger groups, and you're going to be just fine and do a lot of building um, a stage platform online. It's Once you have that stage platform online, even if you can't see the people and you're speaking eloquently or easily to them, you will also be able to do it more easily in person. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that does. Hey, Karmic Karen, how are you? Love that name, by the way. I'm going to go to the next caller who is um, uh, 203. 
203, what's your name and where are you calling from? You do now. <laughs> Hello. Bye bye. Okay. I'm going to go to 860. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm calling from Connecticut and thank you for this. Absolutely. Um, I would love to hear from my dad. I'm sorry? I would love to hear sorry. I would love to hear from my dad. Okay, what's your dad's first name, love? His name is was well, Robert, but it was Bob. He, he was okay. known as Bob. Bob, okay. <laughs> oh, I love this. As soon as his energy like hit me, it was like just big happy energy like such big happy energy uh the first thing that he wants to say to you is um and there's so much coming through so much emotion and so many words that he wants to say he's saying um there's so much he wanted he would have told you like if he had known that he didn't get the chance to tell you and he wants to say it all now but he can't lisa how old are you love I'm, I'm 64. He died 39 years ago. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense because there's so much he w wants to tell you that he didn't get the chance to tell you. So that makes sense for the time frame that he went. So what I'm going to say to you, what he wants you to know and how he wants you to know it is that... Um, Life is fleeting. Don't let the little things get to you and don't have the, um, the, uh, the, um, apprehend, thank you, apprehension of things. Just go in wholeheartedly. Don't make excuses. Just go in wholeheartedly and allow yourself to be in the moment with this. Allow yourself to be in the time that you are in and the experience that you are in don't uh and again he's saying like don't make excuses don't make excuses so and i'm going to give you an example this isn't an exact it's just an example of sometimes people once they reach a certain age and they become single they say things like oh all the good guys are taken or who would want me at this age or i missed my opportunity to start the business. don't make it what whether it's business or love or family whatever it is don't don't have preconceived notions just jump in wholeheartedly and don't worry everything will fall into place is the biggest message that he's Sending and he's saying these holidays, this holiday season is going to be different than the rest, but in a good way. So this holiday season is going to be different than the rest, but in a good way. Now, don't expect baby Jesus to show up under your tree if you celebrate that. I mean, I'm being, I'm being, but that's not what he said. Like, it, you're not going to wake up Christmas morning and go out there and there's a big vision. Or if you're Jewish, you're not going to have like, uh, whatever. It, he's saying it's just going to be more loving if you allow that. If you allow people in and if you allow for that love, it's going to be there. And it will, that feeling that is supposed to come with this season will be there if you allow it. Okay, sweetie? Oh, thank you so much. You gave me chills. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. And I love that so much. I love it. Absolutely. Thank you for letting us know that. He wants you to know he, even though there's been some time since he's gone, he's always with you. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, separate himself. He always has one like if you, okay, so I'm going to explain this for you, but also everybody else listening. When people go home or leave their physical body, they're like a ball of light, an orb, if you will. And that orb, just like the sun, can have rays coming out of it. And that ray can be on us at all times. So when someone is on the other side, their ray from their soul or spirit or whatever you call it that moves on 
can stay connected with our energy at all times. And that's how we can feel them and communicate with them telepathically once they have left their physical body. And he wants you to know that he's always has his ray on you is the best way. I love that statement. Um, and this is the first time somebody has given me this analogy. And I love this analogy. But he always has his ray on you or in your energy. And you guys always have cross energy going like your energy is with him. His energy is with you. And anytime your energy feels heavy, and this is for anyone and everyone listening, you can either go to the source, the, the whole source, our source, uh, God, or angels or whatever you want to call it. Or you can go to a loved one and say, clean up my energy, clean up my energy. Um, it's like having an air filter, clean out all the pollution in your home. It's the same thing. You can go to a loved one or whom, you know, uh, and say, clean, clean, clean and clear my energy right now. And if they will, they will do that. They will do that. You you should also change your mind of the thoughts that you're thinking, but it not you personally, but whomever's having uh, that feeling. But yes, that is what he's saying. His ray is always on you and will never leave you and never let you go. Okay. Oh, I like that. Thank you. That's the best gift, gift ever. God bless you so much. Thank you. You are so, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And I'm so grateful that he was able to come through and give you that message and, and help you. And um, when you sit down in your moments of silence, and even as you're going to sleep, and again, this is for you and anybody else listening, um, just focus in on him and those telepathic messages will definitely come through and you will hear messages from your loved ones at that time um, with intention and focus, all things come in is what I would want to say to you, Lisa. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you so much for allowing me to be the one that connects you to and give you that message. I'm so grateful for it. Okay, everybody, um, I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central times. I also um, every once in a while, pop in and do uh, another, uh, pop, like a pop-up show. I also sometimes will do a, um, like I'm going to start doing new moon and full moon um, manifestation shows and a few other things. So please, if you want to be part of them, just click that button that allows you to know when I pop up. Otherwise, um, you know when I go live, my scheduled times, and uh, I will see you on those shows. It's almost, they're going to give me that 90 second warning any second, which always gets me like, ah! So I want to thank everybody who has listened in, everybody who has watched, everybody who has called in. Thank you so much for joining the show today. I'm going to try to go live tonight um, with a um, new moon manifestation meditation. I won't necessarily be taking callers. We'll be, be doing a meditation and putting our our thoughts out there of what we would like to see come to fruition for us. I'm going to try to do that. So please click the 90 seconds. Yep, there it is. Click those buttons to know uh, when, and I schedule that for tonight. I have a lot of um, work today, so I'm going to try to look at what time I can do that, but who's ever there is there and it will work out great. Thank you again, everybody. I love you all so stinking much. I look forward to if I don't see you tonight, seeing you on Wednesday. And until then, have an absolutely amazing 60 seconds. Thank you so much.